Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm uh, working a little, I'm doing a little project. Um, I want to show you guys uh, uh, the propane. Uh, we use, everybody uses a propane uh, to find the vacuum leaks or uh, if you have some kind of a drivability issues, maybe stalling or maybe uh, no start uh, complaints where you know we want to uh, figure out if the fuel could be the reason you know why car will not start uh, we can add some propane or maybe brake cleaner in the in, in intake and uh, the crank the engine if the engine you know starts running then we know that we have some fuel issues um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make little uh, device you know that we can actually hook it up to our propane bottle and uh, uh, we can use it for you know vacuum uh, to find the vacuum leaks or um, you know add some uh, propane in the intake and uh, see if the engine is going to start and uh, so this is my uh, first one that I actually used uh, this one before in my videos and actually a couple of you guys asked me about this so um, uh, this uh, regulator is from uh, uh, those uh, portable um, um, uh, gas grills, the small portable gas grills that are designed for these small bottles of propane so all I, all I did, I just uh, cut the end of it and uh, hooked, uh, uh, adapted this um, uh, tubing and uh, at the end uh, I actually used my um, 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 brake line and this really works well you know, as a nozzle so with this uh, brake line uh, tubing you can actually go around the engine and open up your uh, uh, propane and go around the plenum or <coughs> intake plenum or um, you know, your vacuum hoses and look for, uh, for, the, for the leak and basically you're adding the propane <coughs> uh, and to see if the, if the propane is going to be sucked in into the engine and the RPM is going to change. <coughs> but these are kind of hard to find, you know, uh, and they're not cheap. I mean, you have to buy the whole, you know, grill to, to get to this regulator. So uh, uh, I'm going to show you how to make one from uh, uh, just a torch, you know, this, to these guys. It's like a 10 bucks. But I actually, again, of course, found a couple of them on, on, on yard sales for a couple of bucks. Uh, so the, uh, some of these steps you don't have to do. I mean, you can just uh, simply just remove this part and uh, put the you know, bigger hose on it and then uh, put on the smaller hose. But um, I like to, I'm gonna, I have some fittings here, so I'm going to kind of make it look, make it look pretty, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, so the first step, of course, will be to remove this uh, nozzle. And uh, now to remove this part of the nozzle, this is actually has some kind of a uh, special sealant in it and it's very hard to break. So uh, I would just put in a clamp and just kind of turn this end to get it loose. Now this is the last one I have so I can't use this one, but I already have one that I got the, um, that nozzle removed. So it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but this is my last one that I have. I have to use it for my, uh, you know, as a torch. So. And uh, so, um, to, in order to make this, I'm going to use a couple of fittings. Uh, everything that I'm going to use, I've got from Lowe's. Um, and I'm going to leave all the, um, uh, everything that I use, I'm going to leave a li li uh, link in the description uh, so you guys can find it. Uh, so, uh, so, the first step, of course, now is we've got this removed. And I'm going to use the first fitting, and it's going to be this one here. It's a compression fitting. And uh, from this uh, brass craft company. Uh, so, okay. So now this is the way it goes, uh, but I'm just going to use this end, and I'm going to put a little bit of Teflon tape on it. Okay, so this is going to be the first fitting, pretty simple, so I'm just going to screw it in, right there, a little bit too much Teflon tape on it looks like. Okay. 
There you go. A little bit too much. Okay, so what you're going to do is just take your uh, adjustable wrench or whatever and you're just hand tight. You don't have to kill it. Okay, it's already pretty tight. So uh, the next step will be another fitting and it's going to be this one. I guess I said I'm going to put all the links in the description for all these adapters that I use. And this one is a uh, uh, flare fitting, so you don't have to. It's going to be flare fitting inside, a male and female, so you just uh, screw it in together. Like that. Okay, so we got this, and then the last one will be this one, and uh, this guy. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use a little bit of Teflon tape this time again. this together again there's no pressure in here I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be a free flow anyway um, so okay maybe we can get a little bit tighter I guess Okay, that'll work. All right. So that's that part. And now, not a hard part. Now we have to get the uh, tubing over this uh, barb fitting here. And uh, I used the small, small uh, tubing uh, from the windshield uh, wipers. And it's going to be a little hard to get on it because, but um, this is like uh, 764s or something and I think this is the smallest uh, uh, tubing there is and I want to have the small one because it's going to fit better over my um, uh, uh, brake tubing. I could not find smaller barb fitting here. They have it but I don't have it for the female side so I just have to wrestle with this guy here. So uh, I'm just going to you know, push it over Now if this doesn't work, you can actually put it under the hot water and it will, it will get a little softer and uh, it will work better. I may actually put it in a clamp and see in a while, so let's see. Might be a little easier. This is a hard part. Again, I, did, I wish they had a smaller bar fitting, but I couldn't find one. But I specifically want to use this smaller tubing because it will fit better over my brake line. So there you go. Just a little bit of a hassle, but not too bad. I just kind of keep twisting and, and twist and push. That's all, that's all it takes. Once it gets going, it, it, will, it will go. You don't have to go all the way to the end, but I am. 
just makes it nicer. You guys see that? Yeah, okay, all right. That's it. All right, so uh, you can see it's uh, I could push a little bit more, I guess, but it's pretty much all the way to the end almost. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. This, this, will, this will be fine. So, uh, next step again, you're gonna have to do this, uh, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a shrink tubing and uh, I'm gonna just kind of, I just wanna make it look nice. Nicer, I guess. Let's see if this is gonna work. I might need a bigger one. This uh, just a shrink tubing, uh, different sizes. So I'm gonna go with the small one first. Again, this is kind of more. It's not necessary at all, but I just like the way that looks at the end. Kind of looks nicer. So I'm gonna do the the small one first and shrink that, and then I can put the bigger one over there. Okay. All right. Just kind of makes it looks nicer, I guess. I, don't know, I just, I just, I just like the way it looks with the, with the shrink tubing over. Okay. And the last step will be to uh, connect your uh, uh, brake line. And that's the reason why I'm using the smallest vacuum line, vacuum tubing, because it just uh, it fits better over the uh, over the uh, brake line. And you can just uh, put it in a in a clamp again and just push it over again. Okay. Twist and push, that's all it takes.
at this size, it might be a little bit too big. So I just want to cover the, uh, my uh, cable ties. This tubing is a little bit. That's fine. It'll work. Again, this is just uh, to uh, cover the sharp edges. All right. Well, this will work. Okay. Well, that's it. I mean, this uh, this works. You know, really good. And now you can you can bend your tip if you like. Uh, and um, um, really easy to make. You guys. I mean, it took me a little bit longer, but literally it takes like 10 minutes. I mean, it's nothing to it. Well, uh, again, I'm going to leave all the gadgets that I've used uh, on this project. I'm going to leave it link in the description. Um, I think the fittings were around, uh, I don't know where my bill is, like uh, 10 bucks. Uh, of course, the tubing, I don't even know, I had the tubing in my, in my drawer. And uh, this you know, brake line was left after I was doing a brake job. So I mean, I, that would maybe, I don't know, four or five bucks, whatever. I mean, the whole project. You know, uh, now the, uh, I think these things are like 15 bucks a piece or something like that. Uh, so, I mean, if you don't have anything, I mean, you shouldn't pay more than maybe $30 for all this. It shouldn't cost more than that. But it really has, a, a, you know, multiple usage. I mean, it's a really handy, handy device. I mean, it, it works great. I've used it many, many times. Uh, it's good. And uh, again, for vacuum leaks, for... Uh, uh, drawability issues, you know, if the car has some kind of stalling issues or no start, you know, we just add some propane and intake and crank the engine, see if the engine is going to start. It's a good, good, you know, little gadget, works great. Um, you know, and I, uh, I always have one actually uh, in my uh, in my toolbox, one of these adapters. Uh, I keep uh, keep one at home in my home garage, and if I uh, if I go somewhere, I always have one of these in my uh, a little propping bottle in my in my uh, uh, little uh, like a, like a case that I use when I go outside to work uh, and uh, works pretty well. So okay, guys, I don't want to talk anymore. Uh, please subscribe and uh, ask any questions and uh, see you next time. Thank you.